Hey, God bless you, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to come and share a powerful testimony with you guys today of God's power, his his healing power, his faithfulness. God is so good, you guys. So I just left the hospital today and I, I had an appointment at the breast center because I had been, you know, I had been having problems with my breast for a while um, with the same one. And I went to the doctor last week and the doctor, she had found a lump in my breast and this, it literally came out of nowhere and, you know, she didn't know what it was. She said that it felt like it could be a cyst, but she didn't know, you know, so she sent me to the breast center. She sent me to go and get some imaging tests done. Um, so, you know, Im immediately when she told me that I wasn't, I wasn't worried or anything. I wasn't, um, nervous or fearful. I was like really calm. Like, honestly, God, it's like God gave me like a really a supernatural peace. Like, I don't know, like this whole week, I just been having peace, like more peace. God has been giving me so much peace <laughs> and he's been increasing my faith, like radically, you guys. So, um, I, I reached out to a few brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, I got like a little prayer group, you know, it's like a few people that I reach out to when I'm really going through some stuff. I reach out to these brothers and sisters in Christ because you guys are some prayer warriors. You guys are so supportive, so encouraging. And you know, the Bible says that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And every time I reach out to my brothers and sisters in Christ, it's like God always shifts my situation and moves on my behalf. And I just love it. I love how God uses his people. I love it. Um, so I had reached out to um, an apostle, my apostle, who is from Australia and um, powerful man of God, powerful man of God, operates in the true power of God. Um, he told me, he, he told me to do something. He gave me some instructions and it was simple instructions, but I knew I, I had faith that God was going to move behind those um behind my obedience and my faith in those instructions. And he just simply told me to lay my hand on the lump and to command that nothing will come of it. And y'all, I did that. I did that by faith. And I laid my hands on my breast, on that lump. And I just commanded that nothing will come from this lump nothing that this i command this lump to be gone to dissolve to disappear like literally i kept on praying at you guys and literally <laughs> literally over the next couple of days that lump started disappearing do you hear me that lump started dissolving i literally felt it getting smaller and smaller it just started going away like literally and i remember one day i'm like lord this this lump is really going away. And this was before I had the appointment today to go actually get some imaging tests done. So the 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 lump is gone. And when I went to the doctor today, they did a, a mammogram and an ultrasound. And both of those came back completely negative. No cancer, no cysts, no lump, nowhere to be found. Do you guys hear me? Literally, there was a lump in my breast that the doctor found. And I felt the same lump that was in my breast that literally just popped up out of nowhere. Literally. <laughs> and I prayed and by my faith... Do you understand me? It's faith that operates the power of God. It's faith. It's faith. It's faith. You, When you truly believe in God, when you truly believe in the power of God, in his power to heal you, in his power to deliver you, not man, not people, not nobody. I'm telling you, God will move on your behalf. It's about faith, y'all. And I, 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 I don't know what to say, you guys. All I can tell you is that God is good. 
God is real. God is powerful. God is faithful. God is alive. There is nothing that God cannot do. Do you hear me? God is still sitting upon his throne. He is alive forevermore. He is not dead. He is still healing. He's still performing miracles, signs, and wonders. He's still moving on behalf of his children. He's still using his children. I'm telling you, God, you guys, God is doing some powerful things. Because I've I've never seen nothing like this happen before in like personally. Like I've seen it, you know, in other people's lives and you know on TV and stuff like that, but never in my life. You know, I've never literally like you guys did this it started dissipating di- <laughs> And I'm telling you, like, when you touch it, you can feel it, like, on on the surface. Like, it was, it was, it was getting big. I don't know what this was, but God blocked it. <laughs> God blocked it, you guys, and God did not let it be so. He did not let it be so. Whatever the devil was planning, because the devil was trying to cause me to be fearful. He was trying to torment me with thoughts like, oh, it's probably cancer. You have been having symptoms lately. Oh, yeah. Remember that dream that I gave you? And they told you that you had breast cancer in your dream? Remember that? I'm telling you, the devil would lie to you. But God did not let it be so. I also had a dream that, um, that that an angel, an angel had me by my feet, hang me upside down and was shaking cancer out of me. So I don't know if this was what it what, what it was and, it, and and the Lord just healed me. I don't know you guys, but all I know is that there is no cancer, no lumps, no cysts, no nothing found in my breast. God moved on my behalf and I just want to encourage you guys, just have faith. Have faith. God can do the impossible. He can do and perform the miraculous in your life. He can do the supernatural. All you got to do is truly believe. I'm telling you. And and I'm not talking I'm not talking about, you know, having faith for just a moment and, and then, you know, you know, jumping in and out of faith. You don't jump in and out of faith. You stand on faith. You be steadfast and unmovable. You understand like We have to truly trust God. He said, according to your faith, let it be done unto you. I'm telling you, without faith, you guys, we cannot please God. Without faith, you cannot access and operate in the things that he wants you to. You cannot, you know, receive the miracles and the the blessings that God has for you. You cannot even, you know, move in your calling. You You can't do nothing without faith in God. In God. This is not man's doing. This is not man's doing. This is God's doing. Do you hear me? I laid hands on myself by faith and God, by the power of God, because the power of God is in me. The power of God lives within me. He's shown me that, that there is power in the name of Jesus. And all you got to do is receive it by faith. That is what operates the true power of God. Faith. Your faith overcomes the world. Do you hear me? It's faith. Faith is going to save you. Faith. So I love you guys. And I'm just so excited because that was just a blessing to me today. My goodness. (laughs) My goodness. Like literally, you guys, it was a lump in my breast and it literally disappeared. It disappeared. It, it, It started really dissolving. I've never seen nothing like this, you know, happen personally for me. So I'm very excited, you guys. And I just thank God. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all the power, because it was the Lord. It was the Lord. So I love you guys. And I hope that encourages you to have faith and stand on the promises of God, no matter what it look like or feel like or seem like. God is fighting for you. God is moving on your behalf. And God is going to bring it to pass. God is going to allow you to get the victory. And he allowed me to get the victory. No matter what man say, no matter what people may say, people may look at me and, 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 and you know, think negatively of me or whatever the case may be, but God, God is fighting for me. 
And God is fighting for you guys too. So I love you. And you just be encouraged and you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. God bless you.